Well, today we're going to look at uh, some Mego figures. Uh, so I was in HMV today and then I remembered uh, that uh, one of my viewers had suggested that HMV would, had some Migos in. So I had a look, sure enough, there was a shelf of them. Um, so I picked up some of the more interesting ones. So the first one is Bella Lugosi's Dracula. Um, I'm a huge Bella Lugosi fan. Brilliant, brilliant actor. Really like his films, even though a lot of them weren't particularly great. Um, so I picked these up. These are retailing HMV at £14.99 each, which I think is a bargain price. They're really nice figures. I will unbox some of these, and I'll do an unboxing of them, but just to show you the figures. So it's good likeness. Weird paint job, but good likeness. Really nice clothing. Um, I think they must be limited. It doesn't say how many there are, but this is 5594, and the numbers on the stickers all seem to be different. Um, obviously for the UK they've put choking hazard labels on there because I don't know if we're stupider than Americans. Um, the back of the box doesn't give you a lot. I thought it'd have like a little rundown but basically says Bella Lugosi Dracula. Hmm. Be a hard castle to get to wouldn't it? Um, a few little bits and bobs. They also had a different barcode sticker on them so I've taken it off. So that's Bella. And then the next one I got was the Invisible Man. I didn't see this at first on the shelf. Uh, never mind. This is really nice. I, it'd be interesting to see the, the face sprayed or painted to see whether it's actually uh, a Claude Rains likeness. It's hard to see. It could be Superman for all I know. But they've done the, the head and the hands in clear plastic, which I think is a really, really clever idea. Um, I'm not sure whether the body is clear. It probably isn't. Um, it says the Invisible Man, official edition action figure with original detail and quality. Original detail and quality, that doesn't make any sense. Then not much detail on it. It does say, uh, trivia question, how does Griffin become invisible? So presumably it is based on the, the Universal Monsters one. That's the, uh, they stick over the barcode. Can't even read it, mad. Um, yeah, I like that one. That's really good, you get a little flask. And this is 3709, uh, 3706. So that's the Invisible Man. And then the next one was Frankenstein Monster. They call him Frankenstein, so who am I to argue? Uh, this one's a glow in the dark figure. Um, I don't know if I can charge it on the light bulb, whether we'll see it. Mm, not really. Um, so it's got a very translucent head. Um, really nice clothing. You get some chains. Uh, unusual hands, not Mego hands. Um, and this one's 4497. Um, not the greatest artwork in uh, the world. It's weird that like this was the only glow in the dark one I could see. So that's Frankenstein's monster. Then the wolf man. But this is face of the screaming werewolf. Werewolf. Lon Chaney in Face of the Screaming Werewolf. So I presume this is one of his later uh, films that he did. It's uh, by Chaney Entertainment. Um, what was the other horror character Lon Chaney reprised in this film? The Mummy. So yeah, so it's not a universal one, but it's almost, not quite universal, but it looks good. Lovely clothing on this one. And he's got the uh, hairy ape hands from Mego. Look at them feet. Look at them feet. That's nice, I like that. And then the final one I got was Nosferatu. Uh, and this is obviously from the uh, silent film. It's uh, actor Matt Shrek. This is probably the best one of the bunch, probably other than Lugosi. Great likeness. Good paint app. Brilliant clothing, look at that. Great hands. Different to the Frankenstein ones again. Nice one. They do come with a, a sticker on them, the H, HMV price sticker. Be careful because this was the first one I took off and it did peel a little bit the the back in. So hair dryer on them to get them off. Bit of a boring card back. Uh, how long was the character Nosferatu on screen for throughout the whole film? A little less than nine minutes. There you go. So those were the ones I picked up.
dust truck. They did have um, an Elvis figure and uh, um, and a Bruce Lee figure, but I didn't didn't get them. So my wife kindly bought these for me because it's my birthday today. So uh, she treated me to these. I, I absolutely love them. I love Mego. Huge Mego fan. And to see Migos in a shop again, oh, just warm the cockles of my heart, especially Legosi. So worth picking up. I don't know how long they'll last. The weather don't ever get any more in. Um, be nice to see some of the Star Trek ones in there. But yeah, so I'll do an unboxing on some of these and just check out the clothes and that and the articulation uh, later on. But I thought you'd like to see these. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.